<laughs> Welcome to the Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm Adam. It's April Fool's Day, the day when every website on the planet collectively throws a middle finger at their users. Happy fun April Fool's Day. So you probably figured out by now that the internet is completely unusable while everyone tries their hand at comedy. But every and now- a lot of us fail. But well, we try hard. We all tried our own little thing and failed miserably. But every now and then, there are a few outlets that strike some April Fool's gold. Now first up, in the world of video game pranks, we have the Hearthstone MMO announced by Blizzard. In the video, they challenge you to experience Hearthstone like never before in a 3D world filled with your favorite characters. Get ready to hone your craft in a world of war. Get it? It's like see, an what see what they did there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you guys. Yeah. Next up, we have Asus, who announced a brand new cat VR experience complete with a GIF preview of their first app. Quote, super stroking experience. Can, can we get a human version of that, please? Not there, lower. Not by you, though. that'd be terrible. <laughs> uh, but hey, look, cats have needs too, which is why vibrator company Lioness has decided to ditch out on its primary business and pivot to smart cat toys. Why not? According to the site, studies show that kitties who receive regular stimulation with battery-operated toys are more perky and improves their overall well-being. Genius. Uh, yeah, still in the realm of frisky business, Pornhub has rebranded into Cornhub. Sounds delicious. I like it. Now hosting a smattering of hot and sexy corn videos. You can enjoy videos of hard shucking, Cobb slobbering, kernel popping, corn plowing. Who wrote this? Dear God, they're an this amazing writer. Pornhub did. I like that. Weighing in on the Overwatch butt pose controversy, the developers of Black Desert Online announced that it's adding in butt poses of its own to the game. According to their press release, these new butt poses will be coming as part of the new Crimson Battlefield PvP mode, which introduces a 40 on 40 play. Clever does using a recent controversy to actually promote your new game type. Go for it, why not? Uh, not content to blow your minds with all the ridiculously awesome Final Fantasy XV announcements earlier this week, Square Enix announced a new ride-sharing service called ChocoGo. I would use that. If that was a legit service, I'd use it. <laughs> uh, the clever video gives you a glimpse at a new business where people share Wi-Fi-enabled Chocobo rides. Why, actually, why can't this be really I mean, fun? <laughs> I, I heard they smell, though, so that's a problem. Yeah, it's, uh, everything shits. It's fine. Speaking of ride services, Lyft joined the April Fool's Day Marathon with Prank Mode. Prank <laughs> Mode is a new type of ride you can set up for you and a friend involving actors, a fake radio station, something to turn your Lyft ride into the unexpected. This service will actually be available for a few hours only today in select cities. Should, Probably not yours, should sorry. Should be fun? I don't know. Should we try it here? Should be an experience. Let's try it. Yeah, try it. Try it. I'll try it. Yeah. Why not? I don't really want to look. A Namco Bandai faked out fans everywhere with a YouTube trailer for Dark Souls 3. The movie, uh -huh. why not? Uh, it becomes obvious pretty early on that this one is fake as it gives a really bad 80s VHS treatment to Dark Souls 3 footage, along with cheesy graphics and a bad announcer voice. So it's more like Dark Souls 3 Blood Dragon. Which yes, please. Could be cool. A lot of these pranks I just wish were real. Really, what we're getting here is it's all disappointing. It's that weird thing where you throw it out there like, haha, what if we tried this? But what do you think? Isn't that how Blizzard added the Pandas? Pandarans? Yeah, yeah. that's what they're called, right? It works once, let's do it every year. Absolutely. In the realm of a slightly more convincing trailer, IGN pulled off a pretty legit looking trailer for a fake Netflix Star Wars series <laughs> called The Fury of Maul. Oh. This one ventures into, please let this be a thing territory, again, showing some cool lightsaber battles and, of course, the titular Darth Maul. I'll take two double-sided lightsabers, please. Uh, Netflix, or uh, speaking of Netflix, they did some pranking of their own today by rebranding their entire service to feature none other than John Samos of Full House fame and many other things, maybe like the Beach Boys for half a minute. Uh, Using the, the Beach Boys? Ever. <laughs> Half a minute. Half a minute. <laughs> yeah, the ageless heartthrob is basically everywhere, including a sort of old TV category such as comedies John Samos thinks are funny, and TV dramas that make John Samos feel things he hasn't felt in a long time. Ouch. On Twitter, they also unveiled a new Netflix original documentary, John Samos, A Human Being. Moving from tech to the government for just a quick second, the Canadian government honored one of its legendary heroes today by declassifying the confidential Wolverine documents. The Library and Archives Department published journals and military records of James Logan Howlett, including a picture of Hugh Lumberjack Man. Good try, Canada. At least Look, you're trying. You're, you're, you, you mean well. You'll get there. That's cool. As always, on April Fool's Day, we could probably do an entire roundup on Google's efforts alone, 
The company always goes above and beyond with its fake announcements and pranks, sometimes with mixed results. First up is Snoopavision, the hmm. YouTube mode you may be using right now that allows you to watch Snoop Dogg himself reacting to popular YouTube videos. According to them, Snoopavision is a cutting edge 360 experience that combines two undeniable trends. One, 360 is the future, two, Snoop Dogg. Now they really went all out with this one. You can even get D-O-double-G's take on our very own Slow Mo Guys video about the six foot giant water balloon. He says some funny things. It's kind of worth it. On the product side, Google also announced the self-driving bike, which would be seriously amazing because bikes are really, really hard to drive or ride. It's too much effort. Yeah. Plus they also unveiled the Google Cardboard Plastic, a new wearable device that allows you to experience actual reality. What? Yes, the future is clear, everyone. At least according to Google, they have a great sense of humor, thank you. <laughs> and then you get to the Google prank that did not go over so well. Gmail's new mic drop feature was a silly addition to the mail client that allowed users to drop a mic via GIF into an email chain and unsubscribe from the thread. Hmm. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a funny idea in theory, except for the fact that Google put the mic drop button in place of the send and archive button. So people that send emails on autopilot you, like everyone? Most people, every one of you, uh, found themselves sending minion gifts in important business email chains, then irreversibly unsubscribing from the thread. I didn't know you could unsubscribe from threads, but I like that. It's means. a mute button. It's fantastic. <laughs> Please actually... stop sending emails to everyone just because you lost your bike. Email. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, this actually led to a number of people complaining that they legitimately lost business because of the mic drop feature with no way to unmute and get back in touch with clients. Google gonna get sued, baby. So uh, yeah, yikes, maybe uh, think a little more through next time with the implementation on that one. Google, yeah. sorry. I mean, you're like, you're a gigantic company, you got a lot of things going on. But. You can you can do better. Yeah. You've done. So done. while Google had some big wins for April Fool's Day, it's probably safe to say they were also the biggest loser. Ouch. But of course, the winner of April 1st is, as always, Rooster Teeth. It's us. Yay. Look at us. Yeah, in case you didn't know, it's our company's 13th anniversary, so we've got loads of cool announcements, sales and New content. shirts. Yeah, wait, this is a creature shirt. Uh, they're cool too. It's got a bunch of dandruff on it. Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of sales and content coming for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and celebrating these 13 amazing years. It's been pretty damn cool. And to everybody, claps. I'm a happy new addition. It feels good. <laughs> what do you guys think of all these April Fool's jokes and pranks? Who had the best one? What did we miss? Let us know in the comments. Joke each other. Prank, prank, prank. But only the nice kind of pranks, prank. not the like bomb pranks. All you have to do is hire actors and then you can have a prank channel. See? Burn. Yeah, anyway. For more videos, remember to like and subscribe to the now. Social Disorder is a good show. Go watch it. We like our social I like disorder. They're good, yeah. Aaron's sexy. That's not a prank. I just like it when they get this close to breaking. Chris also has a nice butt. Let's go drink margaritas. Everyone agrees.